So hello and welcome to the video lecture of finite element analysis series. I am Bhavik Soneji and today I am going to talk about various approximate methods to solve engineering problems. So in the previous video, we have defined what is differential equation. Uh, different ordinary differential equation and partial differential equation. So today, uh, let's understand how the approximate method is used to solve these problems. So you know that uh, every engineering problem is in first uh, physical form. Then it is converted into a mathematical form by ordinary differential equation or partial differential e equation function. And after that, we find the solution by finding out the unknown quantities. So what we do, we convert this ordinary differential equation or partial differential equation into some function and we apply boundary condition and we get the solution which is exact but at some point exact solution at specific points or boundary condition it is not possible to find the exact solution all over the domain of the problem if the boundary values are complex or the material properties are complex, in those cases, we cannot find the exact solution at each and every point. So, what we can do is, as I have said, we are finding the exact solution at some point, and what we can do is, we can predict the uh, exact solution for whole domain from specific solution or from some specific boundary condition. So, uh, by from some specific uh, solution at some points and from some specific boundary values, we can find the exact solution and we can predict the solution for whole domain. So this procedure is known as approximation method or approximate solution of FEA. So we can apply this approximation method at various stages like stage number one, uh, at uh, this stage while we are converting the function into mathematical form at that stage we can apply or we can apply same at the end of the procedure while finding out the solution so let's understand this uh, approximation method in detail to finding out approximation uh, solution we have various methods like a weighted residual method a variational method and minimum potential energy method in weighted residue method uh, there are various approaches like a lurkin approach collocation approach or least square approach uh, by these uh, approaches what we are doing is we are uh, multiplying the residue that means error with some weighted function and making it zero. Uh, in variational method and minimum potential energy method, the approaches are different. So uh, in upcoming lectures, we will see in detail how these methods and how these approaches are uh, working for our FEA. So uh, right now just we are focusing on what is 
weighted residue method what is the basic phenomena of uh, weighted residue method so let's uh, understand this by one example so as we know any engineering problem we are considering as a function of something here the y is function of x and this function uh, is denoted by this which is the function of x where i starting from 1 and ending at n where capital n is the function of independent variable and c is some uh, unknown coefficient or also it is known as weight or weights so what we do uh, when we solve this equation or when we find out the solution for this equation we are getting some error and that error is known as r which is not equal to zero So in this method, what we do is uh, we find the solution or we find the, we multiply this error by some weights over the domain of A to B and what we will get is zero. So we are finding the uh, we are making the residue zero over the domain a to b so this a to b is our boundary value or some specific points or boundary value so over this domain we are getting residue zero So in this method, in future, we will see how this weighted residual method works for our FE. And for this, we are having different approaches like Gellerkin approach, then collocation approach, and least square approach. So in these methods, different methods, this uh, weighted function is different for different methods and by uh, applying same uh, boundary conditions or by applying same method, we can find the weighted residual method for our solution. Next is Rayleigh-Ritz method. Uh, basically, this Rayleigh-Ritz method is used for uh, uh, various problems like uh, so, uh, mechanics of solid problems where we are uh, mainly considered about the displacement so uh, for all the displacement problems starting from like uniform bar with concentrated load or uh, varying cross section which is having concentrated load or some beam or some uniform bar which is having UDL uniformly distributed load so after applying this load we will get some deflection here same for this we will get some deflection here 
this is delta y delta z. Here we will get some deflection in x also we will get some deflection. So to find here we are concentrating on deflection or displacement. So for all this kind of problem uh, we are taking the relay reads method to solve the problem. Next is minimum potential energy method. So uh, as the name suggests every uh, system is having some energy which can be represented by total energy pi which is a component or summation of work potential and some uh, train energy. So this whole total energy is summation of strain energy of the system and the work potential it has. So by uh, knowing this fact, uh, we can find the solution by implementing uh, equations like uh, strain energy u is equal to volume over stress then uh, work potential equal to So total energy will be so this will be our total energy equation. So by putting uh, various domains in this equation we can find the unknowns. So these are the various uh, approximate method to solve the engineering FEA problems. So hope you find it useful and thank you for your time.